Yes, hello everyone. I'm Ina Kurari Lavarasan and I'm presenting a space habitat event on my topic, importance of Indian space education development. To start with my topic, why is space exploration important? It's because space exploration is not just one genre, it helps other industries as well, like the energy industry, like the transportation industry, the construction industry, the mining industry, and as well as hospitality and real estate. So when we think of space exploration in the future, say in several decades, all these industries would be integrated into the space exploration and that's why it is the need of the hour. But the advances in space travel could have a big impact here on earth, like enhancing the space tourism, which is the future where everybody will get access into space, not just astronauts or scientists, but there will be inclusion of all the other fields and all um, laymen or common people can have access to space when uh, companies like Virgin Galactic, Blue Origin, SpaceX, et cetera, they are developing opportunities that will allow masses to eventually go into the cosmos. And that's where space tourism comes into action. So all these industries integrated is the future of space exploration. And that's why it is the need of the hour. This is a statistic stock which talks about uh, global space exploration, where the economy will majorly depend on uh, space exploration industry, where in the year 2017, the approximate US budget for the space exploration was $383.5 billion. And we are talking about increment of this um, percentage in the coming years, where around 29% of the global space economy now is comprised of communication. And activities and primarily television, all which wouldn't have become possible without rocket technology or satellite technology. So space industry or space exploration is not a single lane path. It is an integration of all the other fields. Only if rocket technology or satellite technology has enhanced, we have wireless communication, television, and all the other imaginable things right now. So in the future, we talk about we talked about the integration of all the industries because we are running out of resources on Earth and we have to depend on interplanetary travel and interplanetary space mining for the future of Earth to create a sustainable development. So for all these things in the future, in the coming decades, every industry would somehow rely on space exploration. And that's why it is the need of the hour. This inclusion. Um, enhancement of uh, space exploration comes with the inclusion of education and awareness and that's the key point for enhancement of space industry so right now this image talks about the space investment in numbers for example um, there are leading agencies like the nasa the jaxa the roscosmos and cnsa competing in a space race to send um, rovers and orbiters to other planets, but all for a good cause. And this image talks about the world government expenditures for space programs in the year of 2018, where it reaches up to a total of $70.8 billion. All these investments on uh, the space exploration program comes with a good cause because to know more about our planetary neighbors helps us to know more about our planet Earth and to take care of it, to have a sustainable development established on Earth. And in the future, all this will inst um, instill the awareness and education system, which requires educating students from the beginning. That's what I'm going to talk about, how India is tackling the education system with regards to space education. So education is a, has a cru crucial role to play in the development of a person and subsequently the entire nation. And this image uh, is a statistical analysis of how education system works in India. So as we see, we have follow a typical step which follows from a preschool education to a university level where um, students go to doctoral degree or a master of philosophy. But this is a predetermined system with lots of drawbacks right now. And I'm going to discuss it in the coming slides. Um, this pie chart here 
explains about the total number of Indian students in the US. So this leads to something called a brain drain in India because of the lack of uh, sufficient requirements which Indian education system fails to deliver to its students. So the history of Indian education system have some pos positive uh, examples to exhibit, but right now it is failing in lots of um, lots of other uh, niche areas where which leads to the brain drain in India where students uh, tend to navigate to other countries for higher education and for better economy and settle over in different countries. So this is a statistics of an Indian education system where it tells that 73% of standard eight students can only read standard second level texts. And that's uh, not just the one because 44% students of the class seven can only solve three digit by one digit numerical division problem correctly. So this is still in prevalence in most of the uh, schools and most of the systems in India. And there are few uh, literacy, uh, few um, measurements taken by the government to uh, rectify all these uh, flaws. As a result, the literacy is climbing up, but there are lots of bottleneck in the process nevertheless. So what are the problems which causing uh, the very slow development of Indian education system is that it's just a legacy, it's not an honor. There is a lot of emphasis given on getting good grades than achieving an all round development. So this image talks uh, very clearly about how the education system right now is functioning, where everybody expected to uh, comply to one type of uh, reading or learning process, where uh, this image tells about like everybody has to climb the tree, but not everybody can do that because these animals are adapted to different uh, environments and different traits. So that's how the students learning capacity and um, performing capacity is as well. Everybody has an individuality and creativity which are not uh, enriched or which are not supported at the initial stage where everybody is expected to follow a conventional single rooted path. And there is a lack of interest where 90% of the education is just theoretical, where there is no scope for practical knowledge or research, where and there is a lack of creativity, which um, in turn um, makes the thinking capacity of the students to go very low. Also, the teaching methodology is highly monotonous. This uh, image talks about the curiosity of the kid asking about how do I understand anything if I'm memorizing and how do I go a job just by memorizing but the teacher or the parent just replies to them if you don't study you won't get a good job so that's what uh, the traditional mindset of indian education system have been and is now so this has to be changed from the fundamental fundamental way so what we can do we can think learn and create the academic subjects are given so much importance that teachers are often using periods allotted to sports and other extracurricular activities to finish up their syllabus. I'm one living example, like during my uh, school days, I've suffered this also. So understanding, we have to have an understanding of learning as a creative process with a blend of creative and practical solutions. So this entire weight should be lifted to learn and not just scoring marks. So this image, the caricature explains about the, uh, the load of um, the emphasis on the book load, which uh, Indian education system has uh, insisted on its children. What is the need of the hour? There, is, there should be creativity, innovation, and skill enhancements, and has to be equal emphasis, emphasis should be given on inclusion of space science pedagogy. So this is the working of the education system right now where the students are drained of creativity discipline and intelligence and it just produces number of degrees but not much of intellectual minds so there should be a change in curriculum to add space science and technology subjects along with regular math and science subjects which will be a great blend and help the students understand the bigger picture and get into industry and choose their own path in the future so what we need is that we need remarkable educators so all these things doesn't start with uh, just the reformation of curriculum or the education sector, it should have remarkable educators. So the syllabus is one thing that needs to change, but there should be teachers and teaching methods which have to be blended with the curriculum technology, what, um, uh, what the space science ends over here. 
So even though there has been a wave of uh, switching to the e-learning mode, that has been done on only in a very small proportion where uh, teachers are blamed right now for the students not getting marks. So that's what's not in the past. So little thing have changed today, but not in a good way. So to sum it all up, what we need is that education needs to be available to all. That's one thing. And it is happening on a huge scale, which is very appreciable. But there has to be inclusion of um, curriculum, which involves the curiosity, creativeness, and skill set of uh, students, making them to think independently and to choose for themselves to what industry they want to contribute to and also to help them in guiding. So teachers should also be the mentors here. And uh, that's where the awareness of uh, space education comes into access. Uh, many students are not aware of what space industry is right now. As we have discussed in the previous slides, space exploration will be integrated with all the fields in the future. And for that, students have to be prepared in the, to get themselves ready to get into the space exploration industry. So what are the steps we can do to make uh, space education available to students is that addressing gender inequality. So access to education increases with economic prospects, broadening opportunities for social mobility and contributes to the empowerment of women and young girls, in, um, making them included in the space industry. And also there must be STEM awareness. So uh, in a country where everybody runs beha behind only uh, three or four career paths, there has to be awareness given for the STEM fields. So beyond facilitating program delivery, space also plays an inspirational role in education. So when awareness is made properly, there is a bright future for uh, students from India to get into space industry and do remarkable achievements uh, with the inclusion of digital technology. Right now, there are uh, the, the education system is being blended on a very large scale into uh, digital um, technology with video conferencing, uh, online classes, etc. Um, this also allows educators and students to create virtual classrooms regardless of physical location. So there is a connectivity between uh, students from different geographical locations and also different geography. Uh, language barriers to connect under a common platform through digital education with all the inclusion of all these um, measures which we can take uh, in india to make uh, students more aware about uh, space science and also to make them feel included in space industry there will be a great result for a country with much more potential like india in the future when it comes to space industry so that's where um, I work right now as well. So this is one uh, initiative which has been happening in India, which is called the Helium Learning Labs, where we have the vision to train students on an academic level to become future space leaders. So this is a platform which is lacking in Indian education system, where we are uh, uh, ready to give this platform for intellectuals to connect with these curious children and to create the next generation of innovators. So some of the inclusive uh, space curriculum, which can be provided uh, by us in the platform of Helium Learning Labs is space robotics and technology, drone technology, rocket science, artificial intelligence, big data, geoinformatics, satellite science, space communication, IoT, and much more coming on the way. By this, uh, we can talk about the uh, multi disciplinary nature of space science where uh, every kid can um, make themselves closer with space science because they have interest in multiple fields and anything can be integrated with space science. So that's the purpose of exclusive uh, uh, course curriculum which we have. So with the vision of this platform is to bring space uh, education closer to student community. And also we aim to create a platform which unites intellectuals and also the student community to instill the fact that space is transdisciplinary and that is space for everyone in space. By this, we can bridge the knowledge gap which is present in the Indian education system and also in making students coming closer to the space industry, but to instill that space sciences can quench the thirst of any field of interest. By that, I would uh, like to share that we have inspired 5,000 plus students. These are some of the students uh, where we have interacted with. Uh, this is one of the workshop which has been provided. And this is me giving lecture about space science and how children can come into the space industry uh, with a US school. These are some of the websites of uh, um, 
um, the space education industry curriculum which can be enhanced with much more uh, minds and much more help which can which is in need right now so this is my contact info if you are willing to um, extend your help in uh, enhancing the space education se sector in india you can contact me with these links which i have provided over here with that i would like to thank professor julio so much for giving me the opportunity to present in the space habitat event thanks a lot